Welcome to the showdown. With me, Topless Baker. And me, Venetia Falconer. We'll be battling out against each other. Creating dishes to gain the approval of the taste master. <laughs> <laughs> Right, in this episode, we're tackling tacos and burritos. Arriba! What was that? Come I on. am going to be making a refried bean vegan burrito. This is epic. It's actually really meaty because of all the spices. And then I'm going to be making a sour cream. What have you got? Hang on. Really meaty, but it has no meat in it whatsoever. Yeah. It's basically the opposite of any traditional Mexican food. I'm going to hit you with a traditional Mexican taco. We're going to have beef, some lovely fajita seasoning. We've got lettuce, so, so tomato. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? Fajita seasoning? Yeah. That, that, you, so you just straight out of a packet? Yeah, because you could make it yourself, or you can just get one that's ready made. Yeah, this is really legit Mexican. Totally yeah. legit. Oh, I'm topless baker, look at uh, me with my frying pan. Uh. It appears that you've already started to copy my recipe. You've got a little olive oil. Now that's at a good heat, I'm going to add some onion and some garlic. Onion too, just copying me. You're doing the exact same? Yeah. You know my motto, Matt. Yeah. Eat from the vine, live divine. I feel like yours is cooking better than mine. Yep, that's because your heat wasn't on. Helpful. Always good to know that. Come on, baby. Don't let me down. I'm also going to add some smoked paprika. This is my fave spice. I do love a bit of smoky pap. Smoky pap smoky is so pap. good. Can't beat it. I'm going to add in my seasoning. And I'm going to add about probably a tablespoon. Cheat. It smells. Smell it. Oh, yeah. Smells like cheating. Okay, looks good. I'm going to throw in some minced beef, which is going to go in too. Oh, and we're wow, gonna... look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely delicious? Yeah, meaty. Right, it's time to add my meat substitute, and that is some kidney beans. So meaty. Yeah, they will be. They're going to add a great texture. I'm also going to add some tamari to bring out the saltiness. Hang on. Tamari? Yeah. Is that Mexican? Well, not technically, no. We're eating traditional Mexican food and you're adding something that is like the opposite side of the planet. I never said this was traditional. I just said it was delicious. My meat is taken on like a nice golden colour. I'm going to go in a little tomato paste, half a can of tomatoes, and then finally a bit of stock. And literally, you're just going to let this guy reduce down. I'm going to get on with my cashew sour cream. This is absolutely awesome. Sour cream. It has the word cream in it, but there's no dairy. No, just cashews. Cashews go in the blender with some soy milk. And then I'm also going to add some apple cider vinegar and then the juice of a lemon. Yeah. I can let you do the After vegan blending. This, yeah. Go on. I feel like a true vegan doing this. There you go. I'm also going to make a fresh tomato salsa. So that starts with some cherry tomatoes, which I've just chopped, some onion, some coriander, and some lime juice. There's so many elements to my dish. That's why I'm going to win. We've spent a lot of time cooking together, and I feel bad because I haven't made you anything that's vegan, have I? No. You haven't been able to taste any of my food? No. I've got your treat. I've made homemade taco shells. What you do is you put the oven on, you lay this over an oven rack like that, and then you bake it for 10 minutes, and then it comes out looking like that. So happy birthday. Here's your vegan treat from Topless Baker. I hope you're not gluten free because- I'm not. Matt, you're not just a pretty face. Skills you, you've to got, pay the you, bills. You've got an all right body as well. Yeah. Okay, so you're finishing yours off. I'm gonna assemble. I'm just so proud of my homemade shells. Can we just- all right, all right, steal the limelight from me. Can I try? Yeah, go for it. Okay. I would have been disappointed if you could do that. I would have been that. upset. I'm well sure done, well done, babes. That was good. Here we go. Layer some of that on. And then I'm going to add a few slices of avocado. 
What a surprise. It wouldn't be a vegan dish without some avocado. A little bit of maple syrup as well, probably. No, no, no. maple syrup. Surprise, you've got coconut oil anywhere? No, no, no coconut oil. Oat flour. Oh, it's no. so funny, yeah. I'm also going to add a bit of iceberg right ahead. Um, a bit of salsa. So I filled my taco shells. And now you can kind of get creative. You can use black beans. I'm going to put a little bit of sweet corn on here. A few black beans, like this. Now I'm just going to drizzle over a bit of sour cream that's, that's not made from cream. cream. Yeah, I'm going to drizzle over cream, sour cream, real sour cream. Yeah, and I'm going yeah. to show how much effort I made. Look at that. Can you pour it? Come on. Yeah. Looks awfully runny. It is a bit a... runny. As you're being all flourishy, I'm going to add a final flourish of coriander. I feel like we're both ready. I feel we like are. we should toast to your taquerito. I submit this winning, colourful, delicious next condition to the taste master. I submit you to the taste master. I'm the taste master. to win this one. This is my time. Come on, Taste Master. Use those taste buds. Come on, this is mine. I knew your taqueritos weren't going to win. Authentic Mexican tacos, baby. 3-1. Let's go. Just tack off, Topless. You've got a lot of catching up to do. Join us next time for more head-to-head -head dishes as we get serious. Not too serious.